Hey there, and in this short video, we're going to have a look at how you can integrate uh, Peach Distinction with Stripe, and we're going to use Zapier to do that. So in order for this to work, you're going to need a Zapier account, a Stripe account, and a PT Distinction account. Now we're going to look at two different ways of doing this. The first way is to allow a payment to be made through Stripe, and that's going to trigger a client to be added inside PT Distinction via Zapier. The second way we're going to look at is what's called a multi-step Zap. Now, in order to do a multi-step Zap, you need to have a premium account in inside Zapier. So you've got to make sure you have that premium account if you want to do it this way. And that multi-step Zap is to look at how you would add a client to a pre-made package using Stripe. So the idea is Stripe will take the payment, we then tell P Distinction to add that person as a client into the account, and then also add a pre-made package to that client's account. So, I'd like to recap on that one. In order to make this work, you're going to need Stripe account, P Distinction account, and a Zapier account. And if you want to use the option with a premium package, you're going to need to have a premium Zapier account, and you're going to need at least one premium package set up inside your P Distinction account. But with all that sorted, let's have a go at making the Zap. So the first thing you want to do is come up to the top and click Make a Zap. We'll open up your little builder, and first thing you need to do is make the trigger. Now the trigger is going to be the thing that actually activates the Zap. So that is actually going to be, in this case, Stripe. So I'm going to type in Stripe. Stripe will open up. We're then going to choose the actual trigger we want from Stripe here. So if we hit this little drop down menu, you'll see we have a number of different triggers. You can pick the one that suits your setup the most, but I'm just going to go for new charge. It basically just means when somebody's account is charged, in, uh, somebody's card is charged in Zapier, it will trigger this Zap off. Once you do that, let's hit continue. It then ask you to select your account. Uh, I've only got one connected. If you don't have an account connected, it will prompt you to connect the account up. Once you've done that, just hit continue. It's then going to ask you a few different options depending on what type of event you've chose. Because I've used the charge one here, I'm going to have an option to choose failed charges or uh, actual successful charge. This basically means that if um, I want to include failed charges, so if someone's card doesn't actually go through, it gets declined or still get added to PTD, I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to make sure I select no, which means I do not want to include failed charges. Then I hit continue. It's going to ask me now if I want to go and find the charge and test this out. I would recommend you definitely go and test this out. I'm not going to do that here because we'll have to go through the whole process, but just click find charge, let it go through the process. I'm going to hit skip for now. Once you've done that then, you need to go and set up the action. And the action we're going to set up is going to be inside PT Distinction. So we can type in PT Distinction, look for the app, click it, and then you go here, you're going to set up the event in PT Distinction. So I'm going to hit the drop down menu. And you can see here, we have a number of different events that we can choose from. The one we're going to choose from start off with is add a client. So that's the first thing we need to do. No matter what we want to do inside PT Distinction, whether we want to add that client to a package in the future, whether we want to add them to a group, the first thing that needs to happen is a client needs to be added. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to add a client. Then hit continue. After that, you can select your account. So I'm just going to pick the account and then click continue. And then down here, we have a number of different options to customize for that client. Some are required, some aren't required. So let's work our way through this. The first one is email address. What we need to do is come to the end here where this little plus sign is and click that. And basically what's happening here is you are telling Zapier what information to pull from Stripe to put into PT Distinction to make this client. So the first thing you want to do is find out what the email address is. There isn't actually an email address section inside Stripe for this. However, there is a receipt uh, email address, which is here, which will probably be the one I'd recommend you use. So select that one. Next one is first name. You can just go and pick card name for that if you want to. Last name is optional, so you can leave that. Gender, again, you need to pick this. You can go male or female. It's entirely up to you. Obviously, this will change, and you can change that when they're inside PT Distinction as a client. Your client will not see this. It won't be displayed to the client anywhere. Uh, this is just inside the software. It's only there purely to allow the body fat percentage calculator to work inside the software. But your client will not see this, and you can change it at a later date from within the software. Next thing, you can decide whether you want to send login details or not. So the choice here comes down to whether you're actually going to add a client to a group 
or premier package using a two-step Zap. If you're just gonna have the free account with Zapier and just have this one step here where someone signs up and you add them as a client, then I recommend you leave send on. And what will happen is PT will automatically send out the login details and password for that particular client. If, however, you are gonna go and create another step uh, where you add them to a premium package or a group, and inside that group or the package, you've actually got set up an email that goes out with the login details, then I would switch this over to don't send so you can actually send your own version of it. I'm just gonna leave this for send for now, but it's entirely up to you what preference you want to do. Again, password, it's entirely up to you. You can preset a password for the client if you want to. This will be the same for everyone that signs up. Or you can just leave it blank and Peter Distinction will automatically generate a password. Now, if you've got send login details up here, it will do that automatically anyway. If, however, you have said don't send and you're gonna have your own email go out from one of the groups inside Peter Distinction, just make sure that you put in the password placeholder into that email so that this password here will appear automatically for the client and they know how to log in. So that's just something just to bear in mind. Down here you can choose between online and print only. As standard, they will be automatically added as an online client, but it's entirely up to you if you want to go to print only for any reason. Again, time zones optional, you can choose if you want to. You don't need to, it'll automatically go to the trainer's time zone anyway. And then down here you can choose whether you wish to have two-way messaging switched on or switched off, which basically just means you can decide whether the client can reply back to any messages you send them or whether they can just receive messages from you. Once you've made all your different changes in the settings, just click continue. We'll just give you a little summarize up here and then you can send a test to make sure it works. Again, I'd recommend you go and do this. Uh, for this example, I'm not gonna bother, but I would recommend you just to make sure it all works. I'm just gonna click skip test. And there you go, that is my zap ready. So that is a basic standard zap. What you can do now is name your zap and call it whatever you want to do in the top corner. Uh, and then if you want, you can just turn your zap on and it's ready to go. So then when somebody signs up to Stripe, it will automatically create an account for them as an online client in P2 Station and send them through their login details with a self-generated password in there. But what happens if you then want to turn this into a multi-step app and have it so you can add them to a group or a pre-made package? So let's actually just go back to our setup. You'll see here, here's our two steps. We want to add in a third step now, which is to add that client to either a group or a pre-made package. So to do that, we just click the little plus button and we can add in our different step here. What we do is just type in the app we're looking for, which is Peter Distinction again. And we follow the same sort of process here. So we choose the app, we then choose the event we want to happen. Now you could use any of these events down here. I'm actually gonna go for the pre-made package option because that's probably what you're more likely going to do uh, because you've had multiple groups that you want to add in there. You can have just the group option if you want to. It's up to you, but this is probably the one I'd recommend you go for. It's going to give you a bit more flexibility in terms of what you can change and adapt inside Peter Distinction without having to come back into Zapier all the time. So I'm going to click Add Package, click Continue, and then down here we choose the account again. So I'm just going to pick the account and then hit Continue again. And then we need to fill it in the different fields. So just like before, we hit the little plus drop down menu. Now, two different options here. The top one is the Stripe option. The next one is the PTD option. The reason we have this extra option here is because the previous step was Peter Distinction add a client. And here, you want to make sure you click the add a client option from Peter Distinction. Really important you do that because it just means the client inside Peter Distinction is definitely going to match up with who you want to add into this pre-made package and there's going to be no false or issues. So make sure you select that option. Work your way down here. Select the email. So you can see there, little PTD symbol, step two, email. Nice and clear. Next one is your package. So again, it's important that you make sure you have premium packages available inside your PT Distinction account for this to work. If you don't see anything inside this drop-down menu, it means you haven't got any set up. So you want to go in there first, set it up, and then just go through this process again. So I'm just going to go and add them into a membership here, and then just hit continue. After that, all my checks are going to come up, and I can do a send test if I want to. Again, I'm not going to do it in this example. I'm just going to skip it. But I would always recommend you send that test to make sure it's working OK. Let's hit skip test. And there you go, there's our three step one setup. And all I've got to do now is to switch that zap back on. So now when somebody goes on to Stripe, and the reason by the way that's up there is purely because I've actually not got my Stripe switched on. <laughs> but um, the reason 
once you've got all that set up, all it means now is that when someone signs up inside your Stripe and pays you something, you'll add them as a client inside PT Distinction, uh, and then you'll add them to a pre-made package. So there are two different ways of doing it. Um, if you want to go and use Stripe to actually add a client to PT Distinction and put them into a package. If you don't have the premium level of Stripe, and you can only have one of these steps, then you just go from new charge in Stripe to add client and PT Distinction, and then you can add anything you want inside the PTD account. All right, I hope that helps. Of course, any questions, please do let us know, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.